Okay, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian and today we're going to continue on playing Max Payne. So, we're going to continue on from here. Which is lovely. Awesome! I love, I love it. I love the fact that they start me off with three enemies and I have a double barrel shotgun that only holds two shells. It's just what I wanted out of the game. Let me swap my weapons. Good God. Crumbled. So this is one thing that I'm a little bit frustrated uh, with the this game. Lay on Gugniti's desk. The checkpoints are ass. And there's Maybe always a cutscene and interrupting the gameplay every five seconds. Like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out. Shut of up. For some reason, I can't make that jump. Got needy, hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. I don't know what to do! He won't jump far enough. There's no sprint button. This is why I didn't play PlayStation games growing up. This is why. So like bad checkpoints in games was a PlayStation thing. They killed their friend that time. I didn't even have to kill him. Am I supposed to dive? Because he didn't dive, he jumped. Got needy hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Get up. Maybe I'm supposed to dive. That's what I was supposed to do. I jumped instead of dived. Okay. That's my fault. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagniti made his move. How did he get that? How did he get to that rooftop? I'm actually really surprised that they, for the year that this game came out, they actually animated the, the, the actual pistol reciprocating. That that's kind of crazy, for the time. Where am I going? Am I supposed to have this? Is that death? Looks like a death. So... That's definitely what I wanted to do. I wanted to just yeet my ass right off the building. I didn't want to gently just fall off the side and land on the pipes. I wanted to just slingshot across the street. Gently... MAX! Oh... <laughs> Oh my god. Why does he do that? Oh my god, I didn't know parkour was going to be part of this game. What the? Oh shit. Oh. Oh. I'm so upset. Ah! What am I supposed to do here? What the? 
the soccer. What is shooting? Ah! We get it. I get it. We all get it. Oh, hey, yeah. ah. Ah. Let's continue on to another cutscene. Oh, no. Nope. Chapter 7. Ice hard and slick. Yeah, there's a lot of ammo in that thing. It's a Desert Eagle. Hey, yeah. That thing only holds like eight rounds. Ah. Who the hell is shooting at me? Excuse me? There's a dead guy in a box down there. Why would I want to go down there? I don't know. Oh, it's a cop. That's not good. Alright. Let's continue. What? That's not correct, apparently. Oh! That makes more sense. even down there. Nobody? Gonna be rich. Freaking rich. Even richer than that, wise guy. Freaking. Oh. Ah. ah. Okay. More Valkyr and more money. Cool. Now, what am I doing here? What am I doing? I'm supposed to be doing something, but I'm not sure. That was a door, apparently. Didn't know that was a door. Chapter 7, all a blur. Okay. Supposed to jump that way? What's over here? Nothing, nothing. 
And nothing. All right. Locked. What they got on the news? Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Brevera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. All right. Nothing in here. They had more bullshit than I thought they would. Alright. Oh my god! Seemed a little angry. dead Gogniti ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us it was right. shake down time that was a bit dramatic but okay <laughs> Jesus the dialogue is crazy where's Lupino screw you bad start Vinny ah, police brutality I rate pretty high on that you, you, you can't just hurt me in cold blood. Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Did we kill him? What happened? Chapter 8, A Den of Drugs. I don't know if we killed him or not. It didn't really explain. It wasn't a gunshot. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. 
D-head junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Latino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. Sounds fun. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart, like father, like son, just like Jack Lupino. Ooh. I don't remember this stage at all. never been all right something about a book given the setting i was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading the paperback was entitled the age of murder and storm the blurb on the back mentioned norse mythos and ragnarok the end of a viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost i could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. Bestseller. Oh. Holy sh! Some kind of satanic ritual on the floor. a lot of damage Books apparently the occult had been piled on the table okay but i need health is there any health in here here we go some weird shit going on in this club i'm out of water the room was stacked with light reading such as necronomicon witchcraft and paradise lost Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal, lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Chapter 8, Ragnarok. Alright. Get this gun out, because I don't know what's... What with Dino and all? I wouldn't say anything to his face. He might not... Who knows what he... There he is! The frame rate broke for a second. All right. What was that? It sounds like the Minecraft, the Minecraft door opening. I hear pigeons.
Where am I going? Forgot you can break those. Is there like a door that I'm not seeing or something? Oh, hello. The hell was that? It was a trap door. Huh? I gotta restart? What was that? Nothing over there. Alright. Let's not fall into that trap door again, because that was kind of stupid. Alright. Why are they making me do parkour stuff? I don't like this. Damn. Oh. I can't even fit through there. What the hell? Oh my god. Where is that damn pigeon? Where am I going? I hate that bird. With a passion. Oh, okay. I made it. I don't ever want to have to do that again. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! It's not over. Who thought this was a good idea? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Yeah, there's a door over there, right? Is this what I'm supposed to do? I actually don't know. Okay, okay, thank God. Chapter 8, an, an empire of evil. I don't like the parkour stuff in this game. I don't like getting shot at by shit either. Died right away. All right. Do something here. Really? I mean, that's cool. At least it's somewhat interactive. So. Was a little rude, just a little bit. 
Why would I want to go down here, though? There's nothing. Okay. Oh, I have to find the right combination. Okay. Okay. Oh, great. Why would they do... So what am I supposed to do here? You better not fall, you dumb bitch. Nah, man. I, I'm pointing forward, so he dives to the left. So what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to dive? Am I supposed to jump? I really, I, I don't know. I feel like the game is janky as shit, and it doesn't actually work. So now what? Oh, there's a door. Didn't even see the door. That's that's how that's how much my eyes just don't work. Chapter nine, straight from the bad dream. From a, straight from a bad dream. Sorry. Huh. What else? The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. Oh. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was know. the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Is this the one where... Is this the dream sequence when the baby crying? Can you read it? Can you read it? Can you read it? Is that not what I'm doing? Is it this? Nope, it ain't working. Read it, read it. Read it. Freaking read it. Freaking read it. Hello. Max. Max. Read it. Is it this? Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the yeah. threat. Lupino's notes covered the table. I tried to read them earlier. Oh, now they work. Okay. All right. Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. Cthulhu! A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Cthulhu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. 
your soul for power and fortune. Just sign in the dotted line with your blood. It's a bit much. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. All right. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. All right, so Lupino went completely crazy. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jadula, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Secret, living under the skin of reality. Secret, the corruption of flesh. Okay. Is that blood? Is that a pool of blood? Oh, it's always good when they give you a whole bunch of ammo. It's coming. You have come. A witness to the end of time. It's now! I will rise to her side! It's like a swim. I don't need the words! I may hey. all the words! Okay, Wesker, you just tried to assassinate me. Alright. Why does he do so much damage to me? is on his eye was that like a tattoo he had before or did Satan do that I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere and this one was the Empire State Building of catches Lupino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator and then he started this spooky monkey talk straight from a bad dream mine I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bone arrow. Death is coming! She is coming. And hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now, and all who stand in her way must die! <laughs> die! <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now, all die! <laughs> So I have to do all that over, right? Like all of it, like the whole thing, right? Lupino lurks somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center. I don't, do I even want to continue right now? Like, should I just end the part and then come back and do this? Or his web, waiting. Shut up, the let me skip this. The papers in the air start to make my head swim. 
I'm not reading that shit. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. The fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Cthulhu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Secret. Living under the skin of reality. Oh my god! The corruption of flesh! This is only part three. I'm already like fed up with this game. Oh, I don't remember I'm any of this. Yeah, I am the wolf. Like that's crazy. I don't remember any of this in this game. None of it. No. Die! <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All die! <laughs> He died? He died that fast? He died that fast, the American dream. When Lupino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I return the favor. Part two, a cold day in hell. So did we kill her or is it going to continue from there? Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs, Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you, not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact? I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Okay. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? What are these long pauses? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. <laughs> The nightmare was always the same. Great. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. So this is the stage that I actually remember. Um, the dream sequence with the baby crying. You gotta follow the trail of blood or whatever. I remember this part. I don't remember that shit before. This water bottle just keeps falling over. It refuses to stand. Um, did the game freeze? Because if it did, I'm about to end the part. I was playing a game. You know, uh, Max Payne? I was playing it just now. What, what happened? Hello? What's going on here? This is one hell of a dream sequence. Yeah, actually, I think we just died. I think I'm going to end the part now. Because this is just getting awkward. Probably going to have to restart the console. Or... PlayStation's fine. It's the game that messed up. Start button won't do anything. Triangle, square, X, circle. D-pad. I don't know. The game broke. So I guess I'm going to end the part here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. The link for that is in the description below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon, turn on post notifications, to let you guys know every time I upload a video. I will see you guys in the next one. And...
thanks for watching. I hope the game isn't broken. Hopefully the auto save doesn't go all the way too far back. See you guys later.